The blacklist is known for its twists and shockers, but we've just gotten the biggest surprise yet. Oh my gosh, not again. What? Liz Keen is leaving law enforcement. After eight seasons as the star FBI agent, actress Megan Boone has announced that she's ready to move on. Surprisingly, this announcement came just after the show was renewed for a ninth season. So why won't Megan be in it, and is there a chance we might see someone else in her place? There is one silver lining. Megan's departure is a double-edged sword. It's kind of unbelievable. I am having a hard time soaking this all in. On the one hand, we're devastated that she's leaving, but on the other hand, her timely resignation means she'll get a truly epic send-off and will get some closure. While we don't know exactly when Boone dropped the bombshell she was leaving, we do know it happened before the ninth season was announced in January 2021, giving the show's writers time to plan a great final episode. Refreshingly, that means we won't have to lose Liz to some dramatic death scene or awkward fade-out, and we have the series creator's word on that. Seriously, the Blacklist creator John Bogenkamp told TV line, we're going to go back to the very beginning and unpack answers to eight years' worth of questions. And considering that Red has just dropped the bombshell admission that he is the spy Liz has been hunting, we're gonna need those answers. So you better be prepared to finally find out why Red first entered Liz's life way back in season one, and then some. Season eight is the culmination of a lot of time and a lot of story. Buckenkamp added, In this next episode, we'll step inside that outpost and travel down the rabbit hole for what promises to be a really wild ride. This is a different episode in so many ways, but mostly because it's filled with answers. But even though we can expect answers to the show's greatest mystery, there's only one question we really want answered. Why is Megan leaving? We should have seen it coming. Megan Boone has become such a well-known star since she started playing Liz Keen that it's hard to believe the show was her first big acting break. But it wasn't her first time playing law enforcement. Before portraying Elizabeth Keen, she'd only been in one other show, another crime procedural called Law & Order LA. And she must have impressed someone during that time because even though she was basically unknown in Hollywood, she was the first role to be cast in The Blacklist. That's right, she was on board before James Spader was given a role. But what makes this even more impressive is that just before getting the part, she was seriously considering quitting acting altogether. So when she saw the script and got a chance to audition, she knew she had to be perfect. The actress recalled, I probably gave one of the better auditions of my career because it was one of the more important ones to me. And for years, she brought that passion and determination to her character every day. So, when she wasn't around for a full eight episodes of the current season, despite it featuring a massive arc for her character, it really should have set off warning bells. The actress's absence was reportedly due to personal reasons, and to accommodate it, the writers created a fugitive storyline that had Liz away from the screen while she was on the run. But there were other hints, too. Before the eighth season was announced, Megan and the rest of the cast actually thought the show would end with the seventh season finale. We had been questioning whether or not we were going to come back and be with our family for one more year is really a great blessing. So, Even though we were gifted another season, which meant another year of great storylines, we're pretty sure that Megan's previous doubts about the show's future made the actress start considering other options, especially after her half-season hiatus. After all, an artist is never really satisfied, you know. The harsh truth is that Megan's departure is sad for us, but it's a pretty good move for her career. Can you imagine basically only ever playing one role? Nor can we, and nor can Megan. Since she was cast as Liz, she's grown a lot. I was drawn to the fact that there's this, this young woman who's new, but brave and smart and able to take on all of these things. Considering that she's played the role to perfection for nearly a decade, it's the ideal time to take on something different. But you'll have to stay tuned for those details. Also, by moving on, she might just be giving us the chance to welcome back a familiar face. This isn't the first time we said goodbye to Akeen. Megan's exit from the show means that only three of the original cast members are left standing, as David Spader, Diego Klattenhoff, and Harry Lennox are now all we have left. 
But now that Meghan has added her name to the list of cast members who have exited the show, including her on-screen husband, fans are wondering if it means we could see some former characters return. Specifically, they're wondering about Ryan Eggold, whose fourth season death was engineered to give Liz Keen more screen time, along with more story time. Considering that she's been the series' leading lady, it was a necessary sacrifice that allowed the series to branch out in different directions, including setting up Liz as the future number one name on the blacklist. Talk about a dramatic shift. I almost feel like that's part of the point of a television show. Ryan's exit left many fans feeling betrayed, especially since his character evolved from fake spy husband to the real deal. But that didn't stop John Bokenkamp from giving him the boot. At the time, the creator explained, it felt inevitable that this needed to happen. His character did fuel Liz in a way that we've really embraced and had a lot of fun with and has allowed for her to grow. And Ryan actually agreed. The actor told Global News it was a lot of fun following the twists and turns of Tom, but you do get hungry after a couple of years for new roles and new stories. So, with Liz gone, is there a chance of a consolation prize in the form of Tom coming back? Maybe. Even though he's tied to a new show, Ryan has revealed he's not against the idea of a return, but it would have to be a very specific kind of comeback, given that his character was killed. He elaborated, We've talked about the possibility of a flashback. I don't think it would be a lot, but something would be interesting. Honestly, a flashback return doesn't sound promising, but what about a happily ever after in the afterlife? Some fans have theorized that maybe Liz will be killed off after all and we'll get to see her and her hubby reunited as ghosts or something. Ugh, okay, yes, we're desperate for an answer, so we're reaching out for any glimmer of hope. Maybe it really is time for us to move on. After all, that's exactly what Megan Boone is doing. It's not you, it's me. When news first broke that Megan Boone's last episode of The Blacklist would be the season 8 finale, Deadline revealed that the actress was already making a move towards her next project. But honestly, we don't know what that is. Apart from a Blacklist spin-off called Blacklist Redemption and a small role in Netflix The Underground Railway, there's no hint of what's next for Miss Boone. Her IMDb page is a blank canvas, and she hasn't shared any new projects on any of her social media platforms. But that might just be because she's keeping her cards close to her chest. Or maybe she just needs a break from acting. After all, she's always been vocal about how much she's enjoyed working on the show. It's been an exercise that has been incredibly liberating, incredibly fulfilling. It just changed me, it transformed me. So I'm feeling incredibly grateful right now. And as we anxiously count down the hours until her final episode, when we'll finally get some answers, all we can do is wait and wish her the best. Why do you think Megan's leaving the blacklist? Could there be a sneaky project we don't know about yet? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay awesome!